Macduff comes home. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Macduff's corner of the garden was just under the kitchen where he could hear the voices of the people he loved. There, Macduff relaxed and breathed in all the wonderful smells that escaped from the window. A snappy smell of Fred's frying sausage and the velvety smell of Lucy's vanilla rice pudding. One day, the window was closed. There was nothing to smell or hear. Suddenly, Macduff saw something move in the neighbor's garden. It was a fat rabbit. Zoom went the rabbit through the zinnias. Macduff squeezed through the fence after it. His collar and tag caught on the fence. Snap went his collar, and it fell off behind him. The rabbit zigzagged over the neighbor's lawn and whizzed across the street. Macduff zigzagged and whizzed too. Over the hills and streets and flower beds, the rabbit scurried and skedaddled with Macduff right on his tail until he found a hole and shot in. Macduff could not follow. Macduff was so tired from chasing the rabbit that he lay down in someone's vegetable garden and fell asleep. Oh, look at that. He fell asleep right with all the eggplant. <laughs> when Macduff woke up, he looked around. He could not see his kitchen window. He could not smell sausages or vanilla rice pudding. He could not hear any voices he knew. Mrs. Higgins came out to weed her garden. Who is that under my eggplants, she asked. <laughs> Mrs. Higgins looked for Macduff's collar and tag and could not find him. We will go to the police station, she said, and see if anyone is there to pick you up. Mrs. Higgins drove Macduff up Main Street and down Pine Road and over the bridge to Oak Lane. Suddenly, Macduff smelled vanilla rice pudding. Woof, said Macduff. Mrs. Higgins turned left. Then Macduff heard someone he loved calling his name. Woof, said Macduff. She turned right. Then he saw his own house at number seven Elm Road. Lucy and Fred were calling for him. Woof, woof, he said, and Mrs. Higgins stopped. His collar is gone, said Lucy. How did you know where to bring him? I guess I understand dog language, she said. <laughs> What do you think of that old lady driving a motorcycle with a sidecar? That's pretty cool, huh? Everyone was hungry. Lucy made some apple pie and sandwiches. Fred gave Macduff his favorite treat, a small dish of vanilla rice pudding with a sausage sliced on top. Well, I hope you liked that story of Macduff. Please come back for our next video. Remember, I love you guys, and as Tigger says, ta-ta for now.